Hey team, nutrition coaching is the greatest job in the world. Today I'm going to tell you all about it. Uh, I'm excited to dive into some just kind of like just the just some of the huge advantages of of this career, especially if you're someone that's passionate about nutrition and you know health and fitness. Maybe you've had your own personal transformation story uh, and you figured this out on your own, albeit like you know. The, the tough steps to figure it out, maybe some trial and error and that kind of stuff. And you want to pass that along to others. Or if like, man, if you're, if you're in health and fitness and you want a different way of coaching clients in a flexible way, in a way that allows you to make, you know, income, but it's also scalable. Uh, this is, this is the move. Um, and it might be the right move for you as well. Um, I want to talk about that and dive into things. If anyone has any questions um, or any you know thoughts around nutrition coaching and if it's right for them, I want you guys to ask me. I want you guys to utilize that chat function there. Drop a question in the chat. Um, drop a question you know in. Let me know what's going on. Um, if you're tuning in here, let me know where you're from. What's new with you? Um, one of the great aspects about uh, the Dr. Mark method in our program is that we got a thriving community of people that are trying to figure this stuff out, that are helping others, that are making money doing it and all those things. So uh, I'm glad that you're here. Um, and and I, I truly, truly do mean that. We do have enrollment for our program wrapping up this evening. Um, in my experience, I've launched this program maybe 16 times now. We've taken 400 students through the program. I've launched it 16 times. I've gotten on more calls about this program than I can count, without a doubt. People in different situations diving into why do they want to do this? Why now? Uh, you know, all those things. There's a bunch of different situations. I can tell you trends and stuff about the people that do do it and who does well, if you're interested, without a doubt. Um, but I, I connect with people about this stuff. And I do find that a lot of times um, people will make a, assumptions about the program if it's for them or not for them, or even nutrition coaching in general, if it's for them or not for them before we go down um, this path at all. And sometimes they just don't have the right information about it. They're making assumptions about, you know, how long things take and what are the commitments and what do I need to have before? So if you find yourself in that situation, um, honestly, let's have a conversation about it. And I want to extend that to you. This doesn't mean that you're signing up at all, um, but it just means a conversation. Check out my calendar and book in and we can chat about the actual program and where you're at before you make any of those assumptions. Because it's hard to make a decision if you don't have the right information. Um, and we'll go from there. And honestly, I'll be the first one to tell you if it's not for you. Um, I do that routinely as well. So no pressure, book in, um, and we'll be chatting really, really soon. Looks like, oh, one of these already taking me up on that, which is amazing. I'm looking forward to chatting. Um, we'll be talking tomorrow there, Tim. Okay. Other than that though, anyone questions before we start? We got, oh, Donna, that's so nice. Thank you so, so much. It's nice to have you part of our, uh, community. Donna says, great program. You will not regret taking this course. Teach you the science give you a way to actually apply that science into coaching someone, give you the opportunity to coach people through our, you know, test client strategy so that you actually can do this stuff and build the confidence to do this stuff. Many nutrition certifications talk about, you know, um, the science of nutrition and give you, you know, a bunch of stuff about how it works and, you know, the underpinnings of metabolism and digestion and absorption and all that stuff. But don't really teach you how to coach people we do our best to deliver on that and then give you opportunities to do it through our go through it. Jennifer says, what do you, when you do the nutrition report, how do you set it up? Do you take the coaching application and have the call explaining about your service, then give them the Excel spreadsheet to complete? Uh, that's pretty close, but we actually just flip it. So what we do is uh, get people to apply to work with us or just fill us in on what's going on with us. The application or intake form is exactly the same. We really want that information on, um, on what they want to accomplish because that's our leverage in the situation. Um, without a doubt, like that's what we want to fill us in on and kind of go from there. Um, because then we can say no longer like, you know, here's what, 
here's how you need to eat. It's like based on what you described to me, like here's what I think is going to be helpful. So when we have that information, they submit it. Then we get them and we encourage them to start tracking and we can create a sheet for them to give us that information right away. Get them tracking three to five days. <clears throat> get them doing something. I know, Jennifer, you talked about some aspects of intuitive eating and stuff. Get some some objective information around what they're doing right now, be it's like mainly calories and macronutrients for most of us um, in terms of flexible dieting and, you know, the objective stuff that's going to contribute to body composition and overall health and that kind of stuff, or fullness, appetite, something objective, get them measuring things. And that, that process is for two reasons. Once we have that stuff, we can start to look at what could be holding them back from their goals and present that to them in that report or um, as well as like it kind of pre-qualifies them that they're willing to do some work in the process. They're ready to take some action steps. They don't want to just follow a plan blindly that's not really going to give them what they want or at least you know create some long-term change because they're not taking action and building habits within that structure. So we do that for two reasons. But the biggest thing being, you no, know, we give them that right away. Now, you can go over that stuff. <clears throat> we teach it for most people getting this stuff started. They can present that information to a potential client just in an email with a Loom voiceover, and it goes over well. People sign up without a doubt because they are they know them already. They're acquaintances and friends. As you get more accomplished, there's people that you don't necessarily know. Your prices are a bit more extensive. Um, you can get that information then go over it with them in a call in kind of the middle chunk of that sales call process um, <clears throat> after you've rewent over their goals and then before you transition into how you help. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like getting them to pre-qualify things and doing some steps is one of the smartest things you can do. Cause then you realize like it's one thing for someone to rate on a scale of one to 10, how willing are they to change? It's another thing for them to show you through their actions that they're willing to do some work. Like that's the true, the true test. Hope that makes sense. Jennifer, we also haven't connected on a call <clears throat> either. It would be nice to chat with you about where you're at and where things are going. I know you've been at this for a while and I know that, um, I mean, you want to continue to scale that business. So if you want to take me out on that call, by all means do it. Let's see if there's something there tomorrow. Outside of that, we have, in terms of why nutrition coaching is the greatest job ever, we got data right now around um, the career of nutrition coaching. It's relatively new. Like people haven't been doing this forever, especially in the capacity that um, we teach and what we're doing. But uh, in terms of nutrition coaching, uh, salary wise and income, it outperforms almost every other um, health professional. Um, in terms of like when personal trainers start to integrate it into this stuff, it, it's better than personal trainers that are also strength coaches, personal trainers that are group fitness instructors. Um, like they definitely without a doubt make the most money, which isn't the most important thing for everyone. Um, but it does allow you to have more impact and prioritize this stuff, right? Tough to go out of business when you're making enough business. So that part is helpful. Also people that, you know, pay for a service, pay attention. Nutrition coaching is the greatest job in the world because I like to think about it almost like in terms of business wise, it's the business trifecta. It's, it solves a problem that people want to be solved. Many people feel like they need to improve their body composition and work on their eating habits. So that part is clear. It's something that people are willing to pay for and you can deliver it in a way that is scalable, right? We don't need to open a gym to do it. We don't need to open a clinic to do it. We can do it with a Wi-Fi connection. We can do it with the technology that's available to us. It wasn't always that case, but it is right now. And that's what we teach. And there's never been a better time to become a nutrition coach for those reasons. There's never been a better time because there's more demand than ever. And there is space for you too, without a doubt. I've only seen this career grow. And one of the bigger reasons why I'm in the position that I'm in to teach others doing it is, of course, um, it helps me grow my business without a doubt um, and create more impact, but there's tons of space for everyone else. Uh, honestly, the uh, what gets me so excited about this stuff, and I mean, we just got off a call for our Dr. Mark Method seminar, our Thursday afternoon seminar, and 
people are working with clients and they're making a difference and they're, they're, you know, creating an impact already. And those people, the people that they're working with, they did not reach out to me, right? They don't even know I exist, um, which means that there's countless others. Like if you're listening to this right now, there's people that already look to you as the person that can help them. You just need the skills and the strategies and the tools and the structure. They're not looking to me. They haven't found me yet. So I almost feel like it's my duty to give you this, the right stuff and then go from there. Does that make sense, guys? Outside of that, flexibility is amazing. I worked through graduate school, working on my PhD, <clears throat> doing nutrition coaching. I was able to take on 50, 60 clients and do it within a few days part-time um, and pay for school, have an earnable, like a, a livable wage and go from there. There's no really, in terms of entrepreneurship, there's no other job um, that you can literally get like a hundred percent raise. Like you don't work for an employer and they extend that to you. It just doesn't exist. So the, the ability to create uh, impact around that is amazing. You can do it from wherever you'd like. We have a system that we set up that like <clears throat> your, your check-ins don't need to be live, right? Like you do it when it's convenient for you and your clients love that because they're not running around for meetings um, and adding something else in their plate. Like <clears throat> there's survey data around that too. People don't want another appointment. They want the goods right away. Wealth is health. Hey, you know what? I know what your name is, but it's jogging my memory right now. Make sure you drop your name in the chat too, because we talk all the time. Um, and kind of go from there. You're right, Mark. He says, I 100% agree. The demand had never been, no pun intended, bigger. The obesity crisis is just getting worse. I feel the same. I feel like it's my duty to help others become healthier. Definitely a lucrative job and doesn't even feel like a job. It is the best. It really, really is, like without a doubt. It's just one of those things where if you can combine <clears throat> something that you love doing, that you figured out, that you're passionate about, to help others and make doing and make money doing it, it's the best of every world. Really, really is. Okay, great. What other questions you guys got if you're tuning in? If you're watching the replay of this, uh, make sure to hit that like button because that helps push the video to others that might want to hear this message, that might need to hear this message. Um, and make sure that if you have any questions that are coming out in terms of how to approach your own nutrition coaching or anything like that, um, make sure to drop it in the comments. And let me know and then go from there as we wrap up our program enrollment here tomorrow i'm going to jump back on and just kind of you know talk to you guys here about how it went and all those things um as well as last week i had done a live i'm going to continue to do these office hours because i love them and i love talking live um just about what's going on and all those things it's good that i did it right after my seminar too because there's just like a lot of pressing stuff right now that I enjoy talking about and kind of going from there. But um, I'm going to continue on these lives just because I like talking about what I'm seeing in terms of trends and what's helpful and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. Make sure to hit that <clears throat> like button um, if you're watching that type of stuff. Cool. Outside of that, guys, is there any other questions, concerns, anything going on? Got a few new joiners. As you jump on the video, make sure to say hi. <clears throat> Fill me in on where you're coming from. If you are currently doing nutrition coaching, if you're not, and if you're not, what is stopping you from getting started? I know a lot of times in my experience, what's stopping most people from getting started is they don't have the right system to do things. They want to have everything figured out before they get started. They have a lot of knowledge around nutrition, but they don't necessarily know how to apply it. Um, to a coaching model. <clears throat> Those are all the things that I typically see. Jennifer says, how do you structure your coaching payments? Do you charge monthly or do you charge for packages? <clears throat> Three or six months. Great question. There's two ways of thinking about it. The first one being, in order to prioritize this and grow it, <clears throat> we want a baseline level of monthly recurring revenue or MRR. In my experience, most part-time coaches that are doing this as a side hustle, getting their income going, would be better served charging a monthly rate, an open-ended um, coaching agreement between their clients 
um, as a way to create a steady income month to month till they're around that point where they're at 20 to 25 clients or making four to five grand per month, <clears throat> which for most of you guys, again, I've surveyed, would be that like livable wage where you want to be as an entrepreneur slash coach. Like that kind of baseline level of like, I could do this full time. Maybe I could quit my full time job. Like, you know, that's what I kind of need and kind of go from there. I would, I would charge monthly and then kind of go from there. As you introduce a client to uh, your coaching and kind of like pitch them on the offer, I would just also explain it that way. My coaching is month to month based on what you've, you know, described to me around where you want to be going. This is something that I would probably assume would take you six months. Um, but at the same time, I'm happy to do this month to month. Um, we'll get you signed up on, you know, an automatic payment. It'll go out on the same time every month. The onus is going to be on you to cancel before that if you'd like. Um, but my expectation is like, based on what you're saying, it'll take you around six months and then we'll go from there. That's what I would do. Then as you get closer to that, you know, acceptable income level that you'd be happy with, then I would start to transition um, into selling packages, which when it's pay in full, uh, you typically can give some sort of discount. Industry standard is around like 10, 10 to upwards of 20%, depending on how long the commitment is um, to knock off pay in full, but then they would pay in full and then kind of go from there. Um, to me, as you get this going, the monthly setup is better anyway, just because like people are kind of like a little bit more wary of going down this path with you and it just gives them a good taste of like what things will look like and kind of go from there. Most clients will typically work with you on average between like 48 months anyway. So when you think about it that way, if you're selling a three month package, maybe you'd lose out on a month on either end and you could stretch it out even further. Fred, that's right. Thanks for asking. I genuinely appreciate you sharing your wisdom with us. You truly your knowledge and insight mean a lot to me. I'll keep in touch. I love it, Fred. Um, I appreciate it a lot. Remember as well, <clears throat> I know you post content on your channel too. People do, they hire coaches and personalities, right? It might be worth it to add Fred into your key name there, even if it's like Fred from Wealth is Health or something along those lines um, because they want to get to know Fred too right? And kind of go from there. It's the same thing with your, with your Instagram bio or your social media and something that's like a bit more short term. It's like people want to see your name there, right? They want to reach out to you in your name and then kind of go from there. Like that's a huge part of it as well. So consider that just so not only I have, I do have a memory. Um, I wouldn't say like an elephant's memory or photographic memory. I, I will remember though, Fred, because um, to be completely honest, you've been around the channel for a while, haven't you, Fred? Yeah, I think you were some of the one of the first people commenting on my stuff. Um, and I feel like things are a little they're on the up and ups right now and taking off a little bit, which is exciting. But I do appreciate you being here and being around for so long. Cool. Donna, Jennifer, Fred, it's been great having you guys today, and I appreciate your contributions here and asking questions. Do you guys have any other questions? Is there anything else going on? Nutrition coaching, without a doubt, greatest job in the world, gives you flexibility, gives you impact, gives you, you know, unlimited income in a lot of cases in terms of like your ability to generate income. It's not just like you sign up and start this stuff and it takes off, although it could. Um, but it's one of those things where it's just very, very rewarding. And for all those reasons, I think it is the best career. Um, and if you're interested in it and taking that next step, by all means, take me up on that. Um, let's chat about the program and kind of go from there. I will, um, if you've never, if you're watching this for the first time and you're not too, too sure about um, the program at all, you go to drmarkmethod.com slash program and learn more about the actual program. I'll drop that in the chat there as well. Um, and if you want to talk a little bit more about the program, uh, take me up on a call. I'll make sure that's in, included there as well. And we'll go from there. I know Tim, we already got you booked in if you're still here um, to chat tomorrow. But if anyone else wants to take me up on that, I'd be happy to. Outside of that, I'm going to leave her there for today. Um, if there's anything else, please let me know. Um, but we'll leave her there for today, guys. Have a good one.